are mitzvot that we do for the, 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 the sake of, it's called Ben Adam Lechavero, it's between man and his fellow man. And then you have a mitzvot that are between man and God. So those are the spiritual mitzvot. Okay, so on Yom Kippur, when you ask forgiveness for the things you haven't done, it's for the ones between you and God. When you ask in Yom Kippur, the first thing you have to do is in Yom Kippur, you have to ask forgiveness to a man. And then if after you ask forgiveness to a man, you go and you ask for God. And then you try to improve yourself. You understand? And that's, for example, Yom Kippur will come from, from this half circle to asking to, me, to, 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 to becoming a spiritual mitzvah, to go into spirituality, to go into, into a spiritual level and becoming a better person to be a better people. So go all around the circle. And, and so we have the mitzvot that are called uh, mishpatim, and we have hukot, that are spiritual mitzvot, that are mitzvot that we don't do for the sake of uh, between you and, and another person. Sometimes you do just for spiritual reasons. And, and you can consider, for example, if you vegetarian make you feel better, and you think that make you feel better because it's, it's, it's elevate your spirit, for example, being vegetarian is a spiritual ethic. Although it's not one of the Jewish ethics, it would be considered an, an ethic.